Scan to spreadsheet. Give me the basics. Quick start demonstration. To get up and running quickly, tap the plus button to start a new spreadsheet with a default name. Go applies the default template. Now scan a few barcodes. Here is Android. Apple iOS. Here we're using an iPod Touch. The iPhone and iPad work too. To stop scanning, use the Android back button and the X in iOS. Sending the spreadsheet is easy using the share or send email buttons. There are different sounds, good scanned and save row. This is a good scan sound. Saving a row sounds like this. When a row is saved, it will appear in the preview on the bottom of the screen, the most recent row at the top. Tap the plus button to manually save a row. We can now turn on continuous scanning to automatically save a row after each good scan. The switch next to the bottom barcode turns on or off continuous scanning. This is also in the spreadsheet properties, as well as the template. Listen for both sounds, good scan and row save. Turning continuous scanning off gives you manual entry after scan. Here we have three parts with the same part number. Instead of scanning them three times, we'll scan once, manually type the quantity, and then save the row. The checkboxes designate which columns receive barcode scans. This is helpful if you want to scan more than one barcode in each new row, such as a bin and a part number. Clear on save is off. This will keep anything typed in other columns, saving what you type with each new row and not requiring you to type it again. For instance, number one in quantity. Notice the prompt in the scan window, the column number, and the column title. When editing a row, you have to manually save after any changes. Thank you for watching. Contact us if you need help. Also, we're available for private label options and custom development. Thank you.